What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, today is my birthday, woohoo! I am so excited because I am finally over my cold. I've still got like the leftover crap, like the, the mucus and stuff like that, which TMI, but, but for the most part, the worst part is over. I'm able to breathe, I'm able to smell, I can taste food the way I used to, so. <laughs> So as I mentioned in my last video, I got in a whole bunch of this beautiful, glorious beer from Belching Beaver. Uh, this is the new Deftones um, collaboration with Bel Belching Beaver. This is the Digital Bath. Um, this is a New England style IPA, which I really love IPAs. I love craft beers, but IPAs uh, have that, that kick. Um, this is their fourth collaboration with Deftones, um, you know, uh, Deftones has other beers in which, oh, hey, Bo wants to say hi. Wants to say hey, what's up? So this is the fourth collaboration that Belching Beaver has done with Deftones. Uh, they have done a Phantom Bride, that was their very first collaboration, in which I also have in my fridge. I'm really excited to try that one. Since it was the first beer collaboration with Deftones, I just never got around to getting it. And then they also did Good Morning Beautiful, which I also will be trying as well. And then they have Swerve City, which I did not catch, unfortunately, and um, I don't know if the collaboration ended or if they're producing more, but I just didn't see any um, more of those on the website, so whatever. Um, so I am super, super excited, and without further ado, let's go ahead and get cracking. All right, digital bath. I wish they would have put the little spout like in the back so you can see the, the label, but whatever. Again, this is a New England IPA. Um, it's supposed to have some citrusy flavor, so let's see what this is about. Ooh. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's definitely, um, it's got that classic IPA flavor, like that, you know, that musky flavor. So it's, 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 so it's familiar, you know what I mean? Like it's a familiar flavor. However, when it hits like the back of your palate, it's like, um, it has like this citrus flavor, but it's like, it gets a little bit, a little bit more intense uh, towards the end when you, once it like hits the back of your, your palate. Yeah, this is good. This is different. This is different. You know, it's, it, it tastes exactly how they made the uh, the art. Like the, it's it's like it's got that lime, very limey. It's very lime, lime, lime. Um, it's got like that really soft citrus citrusy flavor. Like when you first uh, take a sip, and then once you kind of savor the taste a little bit, it gets a little bit more intense. I'm already getting belchy. Ha! <laughs> this is good. It's, um, although IPAs have like more of an intensive flavor, this particular one is, um, like a, it's like a summer flavor. It's still, it's, it still has like that IPA kick, but it has that like summer-esque like flavor to it. It's really, really good actually. So like I said, it's, it, it, when you first taste it, like it's got that citrusy like sensation, like it's light citrus and then it intensifies a little bit, but as you keep drinking it, it's just this like this, this citrus, citru like a citrus theme, you know what I mean? And it's got some, uh, some lyrics. Um, See if the camera can focus in. It's got some some lyrics there. I think it's from the song Digital Bath. Which, by the way, the White Pony is because Digital Bath is from their White Pony album. Um, it says, because tonight I feel like more you taste foreign and I know you can see the chord breakaway. I guess I should mention it's 6.25% alcohol per can. So it's, it's a pretty good amount of alcohol. Yeah, it's... This is a good beer, actually. This is a really good beer. This is the first time I uh, taste Belching Beaver as a brand as well. Um, maybe I could, I should have uh, tasted 
more, like I should have ordered more of their flavors, but uh, these beers are pretty costly to ship to Texas because um, they are manufactured and brewed in uh, California. Uh, and for whatever reason, they, um, you know, with whatever restriction, restrictions, they don't have them easily available in Texas. So I had to uh, pay a little extra to get them over here. So just wanted to taste all the Deftones beer because I am an avid fan. Love them, love, 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 love them. I'm really excited for what they have in store for as far as like future collaborations, you know, with beer. I hope that they they keep doing what they're doing with this because I Deftones craft beer. Uh huh. Just kind of analyzing the the art, the art for this can. Look, so they've got the, that's the Belching Beaver like the mascot like the the brand or whatever that's the beaver so they had the uh so deftones they had their own artists uh construct like their uh, or craft their own um art for the can and i really I, it's really really neat like look at it it's like a, a digital beaver like i love the digital bubble coming out of his mouth you see that digital bath um i really like it it's got like a grid in the background like a electronic grid it looks like like as if you're like in a simulation program or something I really like that so it's something I appreciate too um, it's got the white pony in the back as well as um, it coexisting with the belching beaver emblem mascot I guess you would say the brand trademark um, so it's got white the, the de it's got deftones the it's got deftones white pony and then belching beaver which is pretty cool I'm gonna keep one of the cans like maybe um, I'm gonna keep each of the cans because kind of like a, a collector's thing and, and maybe uh, turn them into um, like pen and pencil holders for my office. Yeah, cause I, I like it and I've got I've got a few cans uh, so I'll, I'll probably t turn one of them into like a flower holder and then another one as a like a, a pen a pen holder uh, like cut the top maybe and like. Uh, I don't know, put put some sort of like plastic around it so it's like not so sharp. Digital bath itself, like the song is like very serene and calm. It's like calming. And like I mentioned in my last video, like Deftones have this like reoccurring theme with their songs where it's like very mixed, like it's a very mixed genre where it's like you know, super, super serene, like super chill, and then they'll like go in with some like electric guitar and like hard chords, like, which is why like they're my absolute, like I, I've loved them ever since I, 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 I first started hearing their music. Like I'm, I'm addicted, I'm like, I'm like part of, I'm like one of their, I'm one of their avid fans. Like I really love Deftones. Um, this is actually a really cool beer. Like I really like it a lot. Really like this beer. And um, I might, I, I'm not just saying it because I'm biased towards Deftones, but I actually really, really love craft beer. And this is, um, this is a really good one. Uh, the IPA, like I said, it's a traditional IPA taste. Like you've got the kick of that of the IPA, but you know it's got the that lingering citrus flavor that always like refreshes its kick um, at, at every sip. So it, it's it's good, man. I, I'm not like I said, I, I love Deftones, but when it comes to beer, I I can't just be biased like that. But this is a really 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 good beer. Really enjoy it. Um, we'll see. I'll have to clear my palette before I try the Phantom Bride, but I do want to try Phantom Bride. Um, and maybe I'll like, I don't know. How do you clear palettes? Do you like, I think you do it with Chianti or something like that. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Um, but I'm going to wait a little bit and then I'm going to try the Phantom Bride and uh, see how it compares or whatever. I really like this one a lot. Like I said, I'm gonna keep these these cans and I'm gonna turn this into something, but I'm definitely not throwing away. Anywho, guys, um, let me know, has, has anybody out there, like maybe the 1% or 0.03% who have been able to catch this beer because unfortunately right now at this time, 
I think that this is actually sold out by Craft Shack, at least by craftshack.com. This is where I bought it, craftshack.com. Happy birthday to me. This is, this was good. I, I mean, one, one can, like it's 6.25%, oh wait, I'm sorry, 6.52. Ooh, I either was already buzzing when I read that or dyslexic or whatever. It's 6.52% alcohol. Really good. I mean, you, you, I've got a buzz already, like for, from one can. So. Would highly recommend. Highly recommend. If you, if you're in California, or if you can get your hands on Digital Bath, uh, definitely check it out. And you're into craft beer, it's like a match made in heaven. It's really, really good. Citrusy, definitely good for summer uh especially if you enjoy ipa so this one's perfect for me this one is like 1010 percent chance match with me because i love deftones i love craft beer i like ipas and it's summertime so yes sorry bob this is really really good um maybe i'll find it again maybe i can i'll take a trip to california and i'll be able to find it again um, right now online it's sold out unfortunately so you know um, if you're out in California and you're fortunate enough to find this definitely find it I think it's like what Bev Bevmo or something like that you're like specs version of California or whatever um, I would definitely definitely get your hands on this when you see it it's really really good especially if you're into craft beer um, I I really I highly recommend I love I really like this beer a lot um, so I've got I've got more that I get to enjoy. I'm going to enjoy the rest of this can. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed my review. Like I said, um, <clears throat> this is their fourth collaboration with Deftones. Uh, super super delicious beer. I really really recommend it. Anywho, guys, if uh... oh, you okay? you are the 0.08% who have tried this or can try this, um, let me know what you think. If you are a deft fan like me and you're just stalking me because you are also a fan, let me know what you think about this beer. Um, and if you ever get to try it, come back here and, uh, you know, comment your, your findings and all that. And, um, anyways. Thank you guys for watching this beer review. I enjoyed it very much. I'll be back with Phantom Bride. I will uh, review Phantom Bride with you guys and, you know, kind of give you my thoughts too. But I really enjoyed this. I will see you guys in my next video. Can't